Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. I am available for personals. That information is in the description. Okay, y'all. Let's get some messages from your person. Yes, I'm skipping over everything else. I hate long intros. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I mean, and I know my intro is long, okay, with the prayer and all. But let me just, let me just, let me just work. Let me just, let me just get these messages out. How about that? Let me just build my shit back up. So this will be a two-part reading. This first part is going to be about love. And then the second part will be about your career and self-care. Okay. This situation is being caused by both of us. Look at your own role in this situation to help us change it. Okay. I'm so happy. <laughs> gives a fuck oh two mirror cards off the bat our inner children are crying out right now we both need to comfort them and become the parents okay <laughs> my heart is opening to love and guiding me back to you i'm telling you i don't know this is a twin flame deck, but if you know your twin, your twin is coming back to you. If you don't know your twin, it's like energetically in the 5D, they are coming back to you. Don't listen to other people. Trust yourself to know the truth. So this person really wants you to trust yourself, okay? Um, if you are a twin, it's important that you trust yourself first because y'all marry each other. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, Bird. I'm not going to take this last card, but we have 11-11. We are coming into union. Um, let's see here. Karmic ties. Past lives are influencing our connection. I've lost you in other lifetimes, and that makes me afraid. I need to heal the grief to allow the love to bloom. And then the outcome we have, I'm awakening. I know more than I'm letting on. If you met this person already, they know more than you think they know. I'm telling you that right now. Mm, excuse me. It's too early to eat. I just had coffee. 3.33. Okay. I'm like, I'm going to make the readings Jose. And as we split the deck, we have mirror. Self-awareness, reflection, obsessed, self-love, self-appreciation. Y'all are mirroring the mess out of each other right now. Okay, we have sap. This came out yesterday. Resources, needed materials, flow, wealth, essence of life, abundant physical health, life force. So some of you may have felt depleted or drained of your life force energy. And Spirit is saying that that energy is going to come back as long as you're willing to do the work. That's way too many. Okay. Sometimes my guys, they be having an attitude. <laughs> okay, how you feel towards this person? Heart and home. Look at this, right? Happy home, security, love, legacy, boundaries, affection, peace, heart's desires, 
longevity. You see longevity with... Am I saying it? I hate that word. Long, longevity. <laughs> Jivity. It's like, no, I'm joking. Um, but how you feel towards this person, Virg, like... What's that saying? Oh, home is where the heart is. So that's how you feel towards this person. Excuse me. How they feel towards you. Bodybuilder. Mastery, resolve, intense, resistance, self-improvement, exercise, power, discipline. They see you as somebody that is, they're coming back to you because they see that you're consistent in your work and the things that you do. Um, maybe you didn't have the right support, the right people around you. Again, stop trying to fit into the wrong rooms. It's not your room. 555 on the recorder. It's not your room. Shooting star. Aww. Somebody sees you as a shooting star. Quick action, wish granted, dazzled, passionate, enterprising, brilliant. This person, obstacles and blocks in this twin flame connection, which is kind of weird, is, is, city girl turned country. Okay, so obstacles and blocks. This person feels like you're a star, and as I split the deck, we have diamonds, so somebody sees your light. Your twin, your twin is spiritually fully aware of you. Okay, we have child. Fix, stubborn, inner child, do what you love, exploration, imagination, love to learn. Yeah. Some of you could be learning about past lives, twin flames, soulmates. Look, diamond on the bottom. I can't make this up. And in the outcome, we have tools. Uh, practical abilities, well-prepared equipment, get shit done, masculinity. So both of you are like, get, you both are hustling, but here's the thing. The more you both hustle, the more you both are going to come together. I know that's right. I'm going to get some tarot out here. Back, bitches. That did not fall the way I needed it to. The devil reverse though, which is good. On here it says unhealthy patterns, but to me, Capricorn energy talks about, the devil reverse to me talks about uh, moving on from bondage or addictions or codependency. All right, cards flying everywhere. High priestess reverse, keeping it all in. So some of you, you have to keep your goals and your dreams in, okay, right now. You have some things coming to you. And don't be fucking telling everybody because everybody not happy for you. We have the eight of coins reversed over and over. So you keep going through something over and over with your, with your twin confirmation. Ace of swords, upright. Awareness and insight. So you gain some insight from this, though. We have the hangman, Pisces energy, resisting surrender. Five of cups, unwelcome change. So how this person feels towards you? You make this person grow. You make this person um, face their challenges, right? Like you make this person want to look in the mirror and do some sort of self improvement. Um, but this person, they feel stuck and they want to come back towards you, okay? The high priestess reverse and the devil reversed. Okay, keeping secrets, but also releasing a negative mindset or um, a lack mentality. Well, Virgo, on to the next part, which is your career in life, okay? Peace. Okay, Virg, here is your career in life reading. I am pulling from the Career and Life Oracle deck. And we're going to 
clarify with the tarot on what you need to know for the next seven days. Okay. We have outside forces. Unknown figures are driving the situation and you may not be able to control the outcome. This cycle will shift soon and you will be okay. So I'm hearing like good karma, okay? Good karma. You might be like, finally, but patience is a virtue. And what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. We have give and take. Be open to giving and receiving to keep the flow of abundance going. Give someone a chance and ask for what your heart desires. There's a saying, a closed mouth don't get fed, okay? Sometimes workers don't like asking for help though, so I understand that too. Okay, flexibility. You'll need to see in the dark to maneuver the coming changes. While it seems extreme, just hang in there. This too shall pass. So, outside forces and flexibility. This is going to pass. I don't know what you're experiencing like in the area of like career and money, but this is going to pass. Manifesting. You have the power to manifest what you want by writing your intentions down and by taking inspired action to make it happen. So that's also why I decided to like start going back to women's groups and certain meetings and therapy because to me, it's inspired action, right? Inspired. Being inspired, inspired. Being inspired sometimes works better than being motivated. Freedom. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income. Virgo. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. It's time to get clear and it's time to step into your power. All right, one more. I'm going to clarify with the tarot. On the table... Time to put your demands on the table and get serious about what you want. Ask for a raise, a promotion, or a step up. Yeah. Tell people if they're not helping you or support you, you know, get the fuck away from you. I'm hearing you're tired of being sick and tired, especially when it comes to this area of your life. And on the bottom, we have new life. You may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective to your old job. You may also get a tempting job offer or a new place. So some of you could be moving into a new place or you're looking at moving. I'm spoil y'all today. Check it, check it, check it. Like, bro. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. five of swords there are some sort of outside forces at play um you may feel like you may feel stagnant like you're not growing but again you 444 on the recorder you can't rush anything we have the chariot card cancer energy you have to learn to be flexible and find a balance between giving and receiving. Um, divine feminines understand the art of receiving. You can be a masculine with, and identify as a feminine. Please don't. 
We have the Three of Pentacles reverse. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's time for you to do like collaborations. It's time for you to go to meetups. It's time for you to um, just get back out there. The Wheel of Fortune upright. So this too shall pass. Like you don't see it, Virg, but a lot of shit is about to fall into place for you because you deserve it. You earned it. 555 on the recorder. The tower reverse. Something about dodging a bullet here. You definitely low-key dodged a bullet. Especially when it comes to career. The queen of pentacles upright. Yes, honey. Yes. Clarifying manifesting Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy like you all in your energy I like it I do I like it for you it looks good on you the two of cups upright what are you manifesting here wait let me let me show you this what are you manifesting hmm? want to talk about it Virgo? want to talk about it I'm getting like you're this free spirited kind of energy that came out sideways. The five of wands upright. You got to fight <laughs> for your heart. Say no, let me stop. Um, but for real. Five of Wands clarifying freedom. Like, you have to stand up and fight for what you believe in. Like, people want to tell you how to live your life or how to express yourself. And it's like, you got to tell these people, have several seats and sit the fuck down. I need a stronger word than that. Take this death card. Scorpio energy. Five of Wands and the Death card. You're like, I'm going to stand up for my authenticity. And I don't care who gives a fuck. Like, you can go with the Death card. Like, you can go. Whatever. Yeah, Ten of Wands reverse. Stop. You don't have to carry the weight of the world by yourself. You can't save the world. You can help out. You can save people by encouraging them, but what else are you supposed to do for real, for real? Okay, but the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, if you, you need to stop, first of all, you need to trust your intuition. Um, let's get... Let's get another Oracle card and then I'm going to out. Frozen. There may be a hiring freeze or no new work now. Being aloof can leave you out in the cold. A warm follow-up gets you in the door. So being persistent in whatever it is you're trying to accomplish and not be lazy or aloof or detached. Like... You have to remain grounded in your reality. I think that's all I got. I'm hungry. Well, Virgo, this is all I have for you. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.